Okay. So, I came out to my mom using a letter to you, which is Shannon Beverage's, one of my favorite videos by her, and that's obviously why I'm wearing her merch shirt. Why can't I fucking show it? I'm so, so comfortable. Go buy it. It's really comfortable. I love it. And the back's pretty cool, but I'm not going to show it right now. And I recorded it. And I only recorded it because I knew my mom is the most accepting person in the entire world. And I knew that her reaction was going to be okay. And I wanted to see what she was going to say. And it has always been an iffy subject for me. And we have spoken about it before but when we've spoken about it in the past she's always said I always said you know mom like I might be like bisexual and it's always been like just thrown out there like in typical conversation and she said to me like well how could you know like you've never been with a boy before you, you know you have to try before you know anything kind of just totally skipped over the subject didn't really want to hear it and then I've been with a few boys, two or three, and really <laughs> didn't enjoy that to any fact. I did it because that's what I thought you were supposed to do in society. That's what happens. I thought that's what you're supposed to do. And after a while, I realized that's not what was making me happy. And I went a year completely alone. And it was hard for me to accept that, you know, you might be gay and boys aren't making you happy. And it was a very, very hard thing for me to accept. And I got very into secluding myself maybe even a little bit from my family and my mom sat down with me and she said you know I feel like you're a little bit lost and I kind of want to talk to you about that she's like I don't know if something's up but you know you can always talk to me and she's just an awesome person she wanted to make sure that I was okay and I wanted to let her know that like it was nothing that she was doing I was just lost in my own head a little bit and I didn't want to tell her because I couldn't tell myself yet and every night before I went to bed I would watch a letter to you and it was basically like you're praying like uh, I don't want to be gay I don't want this but you basically accepting you are and then at the end it's saying you're gonna be happy and it's gonna be okay so I was sitting there and I was like you know what accept it you're gonna be okay you're gonna be happy oh, I'm not gonna get emotional it's like you're gonna be happy it's gonna be okay and she went and she put my little brother to sleep and I didn't want her to think that it was anything she was doing and she already basically knew she she basically knew what it was she already knew basically that I was gay she was just waiting for me to tell her but it was the fact that she wanted me to tell her first that I was so I sat her down and I put my camera down and I recorded it without her knowing. And I played the video, which I'm going to put in. And it's at like 1 o'clock in the morning. And I look absolutely horrendous. I have my hair in a ponytail. My hair is wet. I'm in pajamas. It's a horrible angle. I look like I have eight chins. It's horrible. But 
it's it really shows feelings and you can tell how nervous I was and it's horrible because she's my best friend and it was like it's horrible that it was like making me so nervous to tell my best friend a huge part of me it was horrible and I felt like I was suffocating as the video started to play and I was like I wanted to shut the video off and like run away that I felt like I was suffocating and I was just like oh my god and if you watch the first couple of minutes I'm like biting my lips and I'm like and I'm like freaking out and then every couple minutes my eyes dart up to look at her and she's not looking at anything else she's just staring at the phone and she's watching the video and she knows she really does and as soon as the video ends you'll see what happens but I mean if you've already seen the video before you could just skip past me looking really ugly and scared and and just watch what happens at the end and how great my mom reacts and realize that not everyone reacts in a negative way and that there are people out there that will be there for you no matter how hard that was for me and this is a very personal video that I wasn't going to put out but since it, today has been a year since a letter T was out I think I'm gonna post it I remember being in high school laying in bed every single night until I'd fall asleep praying I was never really that religious but there was something I wanted so desperately a boy just one boy to prove me wrong to take away all the confusion and the fear one boy who I could fall in love with be able to tell myself I'm not gay after all I know you understand you're the one living it this is version number 3456 of this letter there's so much I know that you need to hear but you and I both know the truth even though only one of us has ever said it out loud, I know it's the only thing you're ever really thinking about. It's the reason you feel sick before volleyball practice, why you can't focus in school, and why you sit in your car as long as you can before coming inside every night. It's the reason that you can't fall asleep, and the reason sometimes you'd rather not wake up. You had this whole idea of what your life was going to be. So did your parents. I mean, everyone thinks they know who you are and you're so scared that you're going to disappoint them. That you're going to lose them. You're going to realize that it feels so much better to have one person really know you and love you than to have a hundred people love you and never really know you. I know it's scary to feel so out of control of a huge part of your life. I know that the world feels so big and you feel completely alone. I know you'd give absolutely anything to change this. I know you're hurting. All I want to do is reach through and give you a hug and let you know that everything is going to be okay. But listen to me when I say, the struggle you're going through right now is going to make you who you are. It's going to make you so strong. It's going to make you so proud. They say sadness is just the absence of happiness. The more you hurt only means the stronger you've ever felt love. Consider yourself lucky. One day soon, all of the anxieties and the sleepless nights are going to make the sound sleeps you'll have more beautiful than some people could ever understand. You're going to appreciate every little thing. There's one thing I believe in this world more than anything. Everyone deserves to fall in love. You deserve to fall in love. And 
not to ruin the surprise, but you're going to. You're gonna get to fall in love with a girl and it's gonna feel like your heart is on fire. Listen, you're just gonna have to trust me on that because there's really no words to describe it. I'm gonna tell you a secret. Of course, you'll figure this out on your own, but one day you're gonna go into the abyss and you're gonna set up a little camp with a tall white flag, surrendering yourself to who you are. And one day other people in that abyss, just like you, they're gonna see that flag and you're gonna help them surrender to themselves who they truly are. Even though I know it sucks not having a flag to guide you, your flag's gonna guide others, and you will never feel more proud of anything. It turns out you're not so different, and you're definitely not alone. I know you don't feel this way right now, but I love you. Are you gonna say it now? Nope. I love you. Somebody's only gonna be lucky to have you. You know that? That was, a, that was the video I was gonna use. I wasn't gonna do it yet, but I, you just pushed me to do it. They felt better. No. <laughs> no? I just love that video. It was a good video. That was hard. Mm -hmm. That was hard, that's what I wanted to see. Oh, was it? Oh, I didn't know that. That's why I, I see why she looks familiar. That's why I wanted to see her. That's why I didn't let you watch any of the videos. Why? Before I went. Because that was the video I was going to use. But I didn't let you and Desi watch any of them. Random. You should feel proud. Be uh, proud of who you are. I am. I'm just a little lost. Don't be lost. You're not lost. You got me. You'll never be lost. Okay? We got this. Okay? Go watch the video because the video is absolutely amazing and it's helped so many people.